everybody, Foxy here at Petardo, and today I'm going to show you how to USB boot from a thumb drive on an old computer that's too old to USB boot. Now, the two computers I have to use today, so I'm going to show you how to do this on a 98 Compact Pre Serio 5280 and a 99 Gateway 450. These two don't have a boot key. So you can't just hit a boot key when it starts up and boot from USB because we didn't have that back then. So there's a remedy to this. If you have to install an operating system off of a USB drive, you can do it with these older ones using this technique. Now first thing you need to do is you need to make a bootable USB drive. I will link a video in the description that is my video on how to create bootable USB drives and DVDs. Now, after you create a bootable USB drive, then now we need to figure out how to make one of these suckers boot. Now you need to download and burn a bootable DVD of the Plot Boot Manager. Now after you've burned your Plot Boot Manager on a DVD, now you should have your DVD and your USB drive. Now since we have these, now we can actually get started. So we have this 98 compact hooked up now. And what we're going to do is it's got USB 1.0 ports on it. They're in the front under this visor in the front. I'll zoom in so you can see this better. So this is what this looks like. We've got two USB 1.0s in the front. We want to take our USB thumb drive and hook it into one of our USB 1.0 ports that we have in the front here. Once we've done that, then you can turn the computer on and you can put your CD in. It's a good idea if you can get into the BIOS. This particular model won't let me get into the BIOS because you need a um, BIOS ROM to get into it. So this one we just have our master is our DVD drive. So it'll boot from our DVD drive before our hard drive. Now our DVD is going to wear up. That's going to be it booting from our DVD. When it boots from DVD, you'll come to this little small menu on the screen. This menu will ask you what you want to boot from. We'll have your hard drive, a floppy disk, CD-ROM, or USB drive. In this case, we have a Windows XP installation on our USB thumb drive. So, what we can do is when we go down to USB, we zoom out, when we go down to USB, it runs a, runs a script, and then it's going to pop up, hit any key to run from CD. After we hit our key, it's going to boot from our USB. And here's our Windows XP setup. It might take a little while considering the older models, but it is an easy way to boot from USB. It definitely helps if you've got an old ratty CD drive that's busted, or you don't have a floppy drive, or something like that. Or if you want to be eco-friendly and you don't want to waste about a million DVDs. Next up is the Gateway 450. This little 99 Gateway 450 has all original equipment, even the original DVD drive hard drive and floppy drive. So this one's completely original throughout, even the original processor that came with it. So this will be a very accurate example as to originally when they come from the factory versus now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring this big guy down here. On this particular model it has the USB slots on the back of the computer on the motherboard. So I'm going to zoom in now and show you where to hook those up. Okay, so on this model our USBs are right here. These are also 1.0's. These are originals, right here. I'm not sure if it will work with if you have an expansion card. Some of these had an expansion card in the bottom that you could put in PCI that had different USB slots on it. I'm not sure if it will boot from one of those like add-on cards 
but I have one put up and I'll do a video on that later. We're going to hook in our USB, hook in our flash drive right there. Now I'm going to hook the whole computer up and show you how to do it on this one. Now this guy's hooked up, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our CD and do the same as the last one. Power it on. Put your CD in. And we'll let it load. This one I can go to post by hitting tab. So we're going to do that. This goes through and tells you basically what's going on as it boots up. Now it's booting from DVD. And now we've booted to the menu. Now, when we go down to USB like we did before, it'll run a script. Any key to boot from USB? This particular model, evidently, you have to be quick. <laughs> I have FreeDOS installed on this computer's hard drive. So when I didn't hit press key uh, to boot from USB, I didn't hit it too quick and it launched me into the hard drive. So let me reboot. Okay, I go down to USB again. And then hit any key to boot from USB. So we're going to spam that until it tells us beep. There we go. Now I had to restart and do it again. I swear, I know these things are only machines, but these older computers, they always have, they always act like they have such personalities. This worked completely perfect before the video, and then when I started taping, these guys started giving me a little hesitation. If you follow the directions that I've given, and you do the same thing I do, this will work. And just to show a wide range of what worked, that's why I did the 98 and the 99. And that is how to boot from a USB flash drive with an old computer that originally wasn't meant to do that. These old guys do a whole lot more than what a lot of people give them credit for. And I'll do more videos on these older computers and the stuff that they can handle that not a lot of society knows that they can do. Until next time, Foxy Dale elegance out.